So therefore, when Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam says, Man tamastaka bi sunnati inda fasaad ummati, falahu ajru miyat shaheed. Then we must understand that that is a great sunnah of Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam also, that how did he spend his day in the month of Ramadan? Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam's days in the month of Ramadan where they spent in backbiting, where they spent in, in watching something that was haram and filthy and dirty to watch in any kind of obscene or shameless deed or action. Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam day was spent in fasting, in, 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 his fasting day was spent in ibadat, in zikr, in tilawat, in jihad, in dawat, in tabliq, in all these kind of activities Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam day used to be spent. So if we cannot put a complete stop to all activities in the month of Ramadan. The ideal would have been that we put a complete stop to all other activities. And we spend this one month at least as it should be spent. Because it's a guest who is being sent by Allah wa ta'ala to, our, to us. And we know that the more honored the guest, the more rights he has over us. And this guest is not a guest who is going to cause any burden or is going to impose upon us something. Nothing. This guest is going to bring with it so much of barakat and so much of rahmat and so much of mercy of Allah. So Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, how he spent his day in Ramadan, to spend it like that, that is following the sunnah of Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam. Now that sunnah, how many of us find out about? Nevertheless, so the ideal would have been that. But if we cannot go for the ideal because of our weakness, then at least we abstain from everything that is haram and forbidden, even if we cannot make too much of ibadah. We do a little bit of tilawat, a little bit of zikr and ibadat. If we cannot do too much, at least abstain from everything that is haram. Make up our niyas and our minds that this Ramadan we don't want to indulge in anything that is displeasing to Allah. And we also want to taste that enjoyment of getting taqwa in our life. There is an enjoyment. Allah Ta'ala wants to give it to us. And therefore is giving us this ideal opportunity. Where the shayateen are changed, it's only the nafs that we have to fight against. So if we cannot go for the ideal, then at least we make that we look at all our activities of the day and see how much of that is absolutely useless and futile and not worthy of indulging in. Or even if it is useful, even if it is part of our business or whatever it may be, how much of it we can curtail so that we find time for our ibadah, so that when we come for our tarawih we are not exhausted, so that we are looking forward to the nights of Ramadan.